Hey guys, so um, I'm on my one of my favorite rappers, um, uh, Instagram, and it's Cardi B. And y'all, I just want to say, I read a statistic today, and it said that marriage in two, two parent households, uh, kids in two parent households, the statistics have gone up to seventy percent. And I'm so happy about that. You know, you know, two parent household, 70 percent. That's like amazing. That's like 30 percent from 100. And that shows that, you know, there's progress, like people are getting it. You know, they're understanding, you no, know, being a single mom, being a single father is not how we were designed to be. We were designed to be married, to have a family. And, um, you know, Looking at this photo shoot, I just happened to be on Instagram and I saw the timeline and I was just looking at Cardi B's photo shoot and I was like, oh my gosh, her family is so beautiful. And I love Cardi, how she loves Offset's other kids. She loves those kids like they're her own. And, you know, the first pick is for Essence. Um, Essence is a very well-known um, uh, magazine that definitely... Uh, showcases black uh you know us black people a lot a lot um and you know they definitely do that they're definitely uh about showing off our community that's the essence of the magazine you know black and so you have this beautiful black family and um it's it's multicultural you know because cardi she's hispanic um but she got like afro roots in her you know, as she has Afro roots in her, her hair texture, I can tell by her hair texture, her hair texture is kind of like, you know, like a, like mine, like, um, like a three, I'm a four, but she's, she has the, the hair texture. You can tell she's a Afro Latina, like, you know, she has Afro in there. Um, so, you know, you have this beautiful black family so the cover that's the cover shoot culture got so big i remember when culture was first born um this is a beautiful um, photo as well i just like the fact that you know marriage and family is being promoted you know it's like that's what you know people should aspire to be you know married you don't want to sit there and be shacked up you know and it's not like to pass judgment but you just basically want the best for people and the best thing ever is to have a family and to have a husband or a wife and you know to have that companionship you know that forever commitment and um you know you have that support you know family is everything money status fame none of that matters you know I was out yesterday with my uh family um and I did not be I, I wasn't on my phone I wasn't on my phone until I got like to the bay and we were taking pictures. But other than that, what I recorded was like a minute. The whole time I was with my family and I did not touch my phone at all. I didn't feel that I didn't have the need. Like I was gardening. We went out. I, I you know, I ate. Um, we were eating together. We, we, we talked for, for, you know, a, a long time, did laundry, all of that. Like we spent so much time together and that's what it's about. Family is a beautiful thing. And I did not feel the need to be on my electronic device. My phone was in my purse and it only came out when we went to look, take pictures of the ocean and stuff like that. And, you know, pretty much. And, um, you know, cause this generation is like phone, 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 phone. And after yesterday, I was like, dang, I be on my phone a lot, you know, doing, you know, a lot of Zoom meetings and stuff and therapy. But I be on my phone on social media a lot. And I realized that I don't want to be on social media as much because it's not a lot of things that really. It's not it's, it's more to life than the phone. And yesterday proved that because I forgot about my phone. Literally, I never forget my phone. I forgot my phone. I forgot all about it. And I was like, wow. I went the whole freaking day. I was there from like um, probably 12 until like 9 p.m. at night. 
Got home like around 10. I was there the whole day and my phone forgot all about it. Kids running around, you know, just so much to do. But anywho, um, I love their family. And um, this is my favorite picture because um, there's culture. And this beautiful little girl, this is Kalia. Her name is Kalia, I think. This is Offset's baby and um, from another woman. And I love how Cardi B treats Kalia like she treats Kalia like her own. And that's how it should be. Once you get married, that person's kids are your kids. Like, I don't even like the word stepmom, stepdad. It definitely, I can understand why it's called that because you want to respect the parent but when it comes to the treatment of the child that child you're supposed to treat your um husband's or wife's child that's not biologically yours you're supposed to treat them like they're biologically yours you're supposed to treat them like they came out of your own womb that means the protection the love you know the selflessness the 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 um the provision the 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 parental you know um upbuilding and love and nurturing that you give your biological child that's what you're supposed to give to your husband or wife's child that's not biologically yours so I see that this is represented in that photo like there she had them dressed alike like that's a mommy like she basically she has culture and Kalia dressed alike and she does that all the time because in other videos that I've seen like for example when they for Christmas I saw their Christmas video and they were dressed alike she makes sure that Kalia and culture dresses alike because they're the only girls so she has daughters and by the the fact that she's like standing there and then she has her two babies not just culture she has her daughters with her um it's it's beautiful. It just shows you that she basically loves Kalia like her own. And I would and it would be the same thing for me like if my husband had another baby by an um, you know, an ex-wife, you know, that baby's mine, you know, I would do the same thing. Like I'm doing a photo shoot with my daughter. That's my daughter too. Like I got two daughters. Period. There's no difference. And this is their son. They finally showed their son, you know. I'm happy they took their time. Cardi always comes through with the looks. I mean, Cardi, you, you could never say that Cardi, you know, is an imitation of anybody. She's basically herself. She is her own person. Her fashion, her looks is completely different from everybody. Um, she's her own woman. She's a married woman. She has kids, about five of them now. And um, yeah, she's definitely everything that I am proud of because look at where she comes from. We all watched her, you know, being this crazy girl. And then she was chasing after her dream and people weren't believing in her because of her past being, you know, a stripper. And then it's like she believed in herself. And I remember on Love and Hip Hop, the DJ was like, you know, not taking her serious. And she was like, when, when I blow up, you're going to regret this. And she blew up. And I always remembered what she said to him and I said how does that DJ feel now today that Cardi don't even need his airplay like Cardi, Cardi don't even need him to spin her record like the whole world is basically Cardi B so if he were not to play her record ever it don't matter because of every other radio station will and he's going to because he needs Cardi B he needs that 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 force in order to promote his radio show so it's like it just it's just a lesson like don't judge anybody don't underestimate anybody don't count nobody out you know you see somebody um don't look down on them and think that they can't become great because the same person you look down on is the same person that will surpass you and embarrass you and cardi b surpassed and embarrassed a lot of people like judging her because she's a stripper you know saying that this that and that th like the whole time she was talented just because you have you're not your circumstances just because somebody had to strip to get money does not mean they're not talented or smart. No, that's not what that means. They're not, you are not your circumstances. Like for example, just because I have depression and anxiety does not, it that does not make me, you know, I'm a smart, intelligent woman with a lot of gifts. Just because she was a stripper does not mean she's not a beautiful, um, smart uh, businesswoman that's capable of being a wife. That don't mean none of that. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? She blossomed and she became what? A wife. These good girls that was looking down on her, These those girls don't have rings yet. They don't have no rings. They're single or they're with somebody that's taken 30 years to marry them. Cardi got her ring in like, what, two years? 
Why? Because real recognize real. Cardi has a real personality. She's a real person. I related to her instantly. I was like, she's so real. She's herself. Ain't no putting off of nobody. Cardi B is herself. She's hilarious. She is a light. She has a big light. You know what I'm saying? She's a very loving person, you can tell. And she's not a hater. She's a good, you know, um, human being. And that's why she's so blessed. So she got the money, but that's not important. You know, that's just bonus. But she's a wife. She's a mother. A lot of things that all of these girls that judged her want to be, she's that. Plus the money. Plus the thousand, the million dollar mansion. All that. Like, I'm proud of her. I'm just proud. I'm just happy. That's why I keep talking about her because I really don't like that. I don't like people who look down on people who sit up there and act like, oh, because she was maybe even if even if uh, um, a girl was a prostitute, I don't care. Like, you don't know what put her on the street. She could have been a foster kid. She could have been, you know, molested by her uncle and she needed to escape. And the only way she could escape was to, you know, go to the streets. And she would rather be in the streets than to be molested by, you know, um, some family member of hers. You don't know people's background, so you don't judge them. You don't say, oh, she's a prostitute. She's a stripper. And, you know, she's no good. Nah, fam. Mm Mm-mm. It don't work like that. Don't judge nobody because you're not perfect, period. So Cardi, I love her. I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of how she blossomed. Blossomed and she was always beautiful, but she blossomed into this woman like she's not even 30 yet. She's way she's younger than me. I'm 30 and she is Cardi gotta be 20, what, seven now? Yeah. Yeah, she's definitely she's still like um she gotta be she's no more than twenty eight. I gotta see. But, um, and I'm proud of Offset too. Offset definitely, you know, proved that just because you're a rapper and you're a black man and, you know, where where we come from as black people, like men, you know, that come from the streets, they think that men like that could never change. People used to bash Offset. Oh, he's a cheater. He's a this, he's a that. Yes, he's cheated before. I mean, a lot of people have cheated, but people in the church have cheated too and kept their marriage together. So people won't judge or bash people in the church that cheat you know, they'll be more understanding or whatever. And, you know, okay, well, they kept their marriage together. But because he's a rapper, he's like condemned, like he's stoned. And it's like, I never saw it like that. I always saw it as they're married, things happen, mistakes happen. But guess what? He made his mistakes and he never, and he never went back to embarrassing her or he's been on a good narrow path you feel me it's like you know yes people can change people can get it together and offset is living proof of that he's a married man he comes from the streets of atlanta and people basically statistically they'll say that oh he's a rapper he's never gonna you know be have a wife he's always gonna be a player he's always gonna be you know um you know, he's never going to hang his jersey up. He's always going to just have ice and, and, and you know, HOEs. And no, he married, he got a wife and he got kids and he's not out here wilding. He's, he's minding his business with his family, period. So he also is another person who broke the statistics, you know, just because you come from the streets, you know, don't mean you don't have potential to be a husband. You don't have potential to be a good father. Like, stop telling our young black men that, you know, they're nothing or, they can become husbands or fathers and be respectable. You feel me? It's not just, oh, um, he's a rapper or, you know, our black men, you know, they're only good for being athletes and rappers, but they can't be good husbands. They can't be good fathers. You know, they're, they're, they're deadbeats or they're, they're, they're cheaters. No, like, uh, uh-uh. uh, they, our black men are capable our black men are very capable of being husbands and good husbands and good fathers. And I'm proud of Offset. I, and people used to get on my behind like, oh, you you promoting a cheater. Girl, be quiet. You lonely and you don't have a husband and you don't have a boyfriend because don't nobody want you and you're mad. And the reason why you don't have anybody is because of your mentality. You don't know what love is. You don't know love is forgiveness. You don't understand what marriage means. You don't know what vows mean. You don't know what forever means. You don't know what for better, for worse means. You don't know what f- through sickness and health once again, for better, for worse, till death do its part. Y'all hoes don't understand that. Y'all so quick to judge because y'all don't know y'all don't know what love is. Y'all don't know what it is. Y'all don't know what it means. Y'all think that love is supposed to be a fairy tale and perfect. It ain't. It's two imperfect people fighting to keep their marriage together, and y'all judging people for trying to keep their marriage together, huh? 
Y'all so quick to lay down and have a baby by somebody y'all not married to, but y'all finna and, and y'all don't bash baby mamas or baby daddies, but y'all gonna bash a married couple trying to keep their marriage together because what they have flaws and they're trying to keep their marriage together, but y'all so quick to promote baby mamas and baby daddies. That's how backwards y'all are. That's how bad that's how dumb people be you know, people be people really, really be thinking. You finna you mad because I'm I'm rooting for a married couple? Okay, whatever. I just went on a rant. But anywho, I'm happy and proud of them. They beat the statistics. They beat the odds. They have a beautiful family. And I just wanted to show what life is all about. It's about family. It is about family. And um, this is their beautiful son. All the honestly, he, he looks like um I could see he looks like Cardi. He looks like um culture. He looks like culture. I can see offset like his essence but the babies really take after cardi like cardi's genes are very strong they're very strong but you can tell that's offset's baby at the same time like his essence is offset like i can see offset in him but cardi has the dominant genes basically yeah, like right here, I can see Offset. I see Offset, but the face, the his round, the face shape. He has a round face. It's Cardi, you know. But yeah, like they said, he's perfect. So yeah, I just wanted to just show and promote something that is positive and something that we all should look forward to, which is love and marriage. And that's what love. That's what life is all about. It's about love, marriage, and being fruitful and multiplying and having a thousand kids. Period. <laughs> So, um, y'all comment down below and tell me what y'all think of this beautiful family. And if you want to be negative, you know, keep it to yourself because I don't care. And they don't either because they're rich, happy, and they're a family. And you probably don't have a family. That's why you mad. But anywho, bye, you guys.